Hello everybody, this is Zayed out with Zaja Natural and I'm here to show you how I make my Maleficent soap. I just want to preface this by saying that this that was the piping tip that I had planned on using. I just got them last week and I haven't gotten a chance to use them yet. But it didn't quite work out because I did not fill my piping bag correctly and so I had to improvise at the last minute. I want to talk about uh, a book that I just recently finished called Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine by Gail Honeyman. I really enjoyed this book. It took me uh, a little bit to actually get into it, but once I did, I couldn't put it down. I'm going to tell you what I really enjoyed about it um, and speak on matters that a lot of us may experience in our lives that you can really relate to f with this book. Now I'm going to read to you the book description from Goodreads for this book. And it goes as follows. No one's ever told Eleanor that life should be better than fine. Meet Eleanor Oliphant. She struggles with appropriate social skills and tends to say exactly what she's thinking. Nothing is missing in her carefully timetabled life of avoiding social interactions, where weekends are punctuated by frozen pizza, vodka, and phone chats with mummy. But everything changes when Eleanor meets Raymond, the bumbling and deeply unhygienic IT guy from her office. When she and Raymond together save Sammy, an elderly gentleman who has fallen on the sidewalk, the three become the kinds of friends who rescue one another from the lives of isolation that they have been living. And it is Raymond's big heart that will ultimately help Eleanor find the way to repair her own profoundly damaged one. Soon to be a major motion picture produced by Reese Witherspoon, Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine is the smart, warm, and uplifting story of an out-of-the-ordinary heroine whose deadpan weirdness and unconscious wit makes for an irresistible journey as she realizes the only way to survive is to open your heart. Now, I started this book uh, last week, and I actually listened to the audiobook in the car because I, I run around a lot. I take my kids everywhere. I go to the gym every day, um, take the baby to the park. So ebooks and audiobooks are actually a really great way for me to get my reading in. And I u utilize my local public library a lot. Um, I usually love to wait especially if the book is a series i'll wait until the entire series is available before i actually buy the books but moving on to the story now the main character eleanor she's a she's a lady i think she's 32 years old or 28 i <laughs> oh my goodness my phone keeps ringing let me take the battery out because nobody important is calling right now <laughs> but she basically suffered childhood trauma. She is a burn victim survivor and she suffered the childhood trauma from her own mother. And the mother is actually in prison, but what's fascinating about Eleanor is that she actually still talks to her mother every weekend, even though the mother is the one who actually caused her all this pain and suffering and to become who she is. She works in, in an office, uh, I think she's like a secretary in the IT department and everybody kind of shuns her because she is weird. She's one of those people that in real life you might not be friends with because she's an oddball. She is constantly correcting other people's grammar. Her mother was very big on grammar and making sure that she spoke proper grammar so that she would always display properness and be lady like in public. And so she's very square i mean she's not the joking kind and you know, she lives alone in a subsidized apartment and the she's basically kind of i mean kind of like a loser so she develops an infatuation with a local musician and i won't go into details but basically through that infatuation she starts trying to really self-reflect and figure out a way that she can change who she is in order to win the hearts of this guy that she has decided that she's in love with. So she goes through all these steps and processes. But in the meantime, she starts to create a relationship, a working relationship with one of her coworkers. And it's, what, what transpires over the pages of the book is really sweet. And she really learns self-reflection and learns that there's nothing wrong with her. And I think that you'll really enjoy it. And one thing I want to talk about 
is toxic relationships. How often do we find ourselves in the middle of a toxic relationship, whether it be with our spouse or our sibling or our own parents? And I've been on the receiving end of toxicity. I had a rather toxic relationship with my father and I, he died in 2014. And at the time that he died, we hadn't even spoken to each other in about two years. And it's taken me a lot of years to actually cope with the fact that I had to do what I had to do to preserve my sanity and to preserve my well-being and my family's by not talking to my father. Were there things that I regretted? Yes, I wish I had made an effort to resolve things with him before he passed. But at the same time, I think back to my growing years when he should have been a formidable source of love and he was not. And he was, he was a toxic person in my life and my mother's life. Um, and so I had to kind of let him go. And my husband has been on the receiving end of it as well. You know, not just from my father, but from his own mother. And so even your sisters, your brothers, you don't have to take the crap that they dish out. Just because someone is related to you by blood doesn't mean that you have to deal with what they give you. People need to learn to love themselves before they can expect others to love them. And if you are with someone who claims to love you and they only care, they, they want the best for you, but they're not displaying that in their actions and in their words, then you there is nothing wrong with walking away, even if it is from someone you actually are related to by blood. And so Eleanor, in this book, she really had to learn that. And one thing I like about this book is that even though I kind of already felt like I knew what was going to happen, I, I already figured it out, but I love the way that the author actually goes about bringing it to light. And I think that you will really enjoy it. It's a book that definitely draws you in. It's not boring. I didn't have any moments where I wanted to not finish it. <laughs> and trust me, I'm going to talk about books that I just cannot finish. Yeah, I went through so many years of forcing myself to finish books, even though I didn't like them, because I was just willing to give them a chance and see if they would get better. And they wouldn't get better. And here I have wasted hours of my life with this book that <laughs> just was completely disappointing, but this one is definitely not that. But I wanna actually talk about the soap. The piping tip that I showed you earlier, I really thought that I was gonna be able to use that, but I, I'm gonna definitely try to use it again in another soap. I just think that I let my my uh, bag, I tried to do like a double lining thing and then the liner ended up getting in the way and then I couldn't get the soap out. So I had to actually squeeze the soap into another piping bag as an emergency and but the soap turned out really really well i used that purple glitter again that i forgot kind of turns a reddish hue once it touches the soap but actually worked out because it, it worked out for the theme that i was going with the soap which is kind of dark and mysterious and i liked it but anyways back to the book about eleanor oliphant um she really learns about how to love herself, how to grow with herself and with others and start to form relationships because she was a loner. She didn't have anybody she could talk to. She didn't have anyone that she could turn to. Her mother had kept her isolated and that isolation turned her into a very, uh, I'd say a hermit. She only went to work because she needed money. <laughs> you know, she didn't really particularly enjoy what she did, but I think that you should definitely give this this book a chance. As you can see, I rated it a five star on Goodreads. And if you want to follow me on Goodreads, my username on there is Dr. Z Book Devotee. And so far this year, I have read, let me open it up and see. I've read 161 books. I don't know how, <laughs> but I have. And I'm also in my neighborhood book club. So we read a lot there too. 
Definitely check out Gail Honeyman's Eleanor Oliphant is completely fine. I think you'll definitely enjoy this book. She has other books as well. Actually, she has one coming out that she hasn't titled yet, but I'm really, really looking forward to seeing what else she has in store for us. I think she's a great writer. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and share. And if you've read anything lately that you enjoy that you want to share with me, please post it in the comments below and recommend it to me so I can check it out. I'm always looking for something new to read. Have a great day.